Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Global Watch International Call, and today is September the 13th, 2022, and this is the 6 a.m. Jerusalem time watch, morning sacrifice watch. And today we have Anzac watch, and we have our Jan Stevenson, who's leading this watch. So I'd like to bless you, Jan. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Father, bless the Jan, Lord God, this morning as she's going to be sharing, Lord God, what is on your heart for us to pray for New Zealand and for the Anzac Watch, Lord God. Bless Jan with fresh revelation of your love and what you are saying at this hour and open our hearts to pray accordingly in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bless you, Jan. Mm. Bless you, Jan. Thank you, Margaret. Um, tēnā koutou katoa, no mai hara mai. Uh, just say welcome to you all. And in our country, um, when somebody has passed, we begin um, giving a an acknowledgement. So you all know that we've lost our queen. She's queen of the Commonwealth. So she's uh, queen was queen of New Zealand and Australia as this is the Anzac call. So we, we just say, moi mai, moi mai rā e te kweni. Moi mai, moi mai rā e kore koe e ware ware tia. Rest well, rest well, our queen. Rest well, we say, rest well in the presence of our God. For we will never forget you. Thank you, Lord, for Queen Elizabeth, and we um, pray that the comforter of all comfort, the Holy Spirit, will carry the family through whatever they need to do in this time as they farewell this wonderful woman that you graced the world with. So we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, today, I thought the occasion <laughs> required a... Um, a hymn from the fathers of our faith and um, this hymn was written from 1 Timothy 17 which says now to the king eternal immortal invisible to God who alone is wise be the honor be the glory forever and ever amen thank you Margaret Thank you, Margaret, immortal, invisible, our God who is so wise, in light, inaccessible, oh, and hidden from our eyes, most blessed, most glorious, the ancient of days, almighty, victorious, and it is your name we praise, Lord God. What wonderful words. And that was written by um, Walter Smith, who was a, a, um, a pastor or a minister of the Free Church of Scotland. And it was written in 1824. So we thank you, Lord, for those who've gone before us that have left us with such a wonderful heritage. And we're mindful now too, Lord, of the um, cloud of witnesses that surround us, that cheer us on today as we approach you, as we look to you, to partner with you in prayer, Lord, to bring your kingdom to earth. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So we bless you today. We bless you, our Lord and God. Three in one. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. So we just take time now to, if you want to, just lift your voice. Yes, great God, creator. You're the God of all nations. All nations. We thank you for the privilege we have as whatever country we represent, to be able to come together as your people to declare that you are God and to declare that your kingdom come, your will be done 
on the earth as it is in heaven. We thank you that every people group, when you gave the languages at Babel, every people group, every language was given words to worship you, mm. words of truth about who you are. And we thank you that we can gather across the nations today to worship you in unity, in your spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. And I thank you that you're a God of infinite wisdom, mm -hmm. infinite holiness, infinite compassion and mercy, and that you make yourself visible to us by the Spirit. And I want to pray for all of us and all our nations that we represent, that, Father, we would have the, our spiritual eyes opened by your spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you. That we would have revelation and by the veil being lifted in ever greater measure, that we may see you. May we look upon your glory, as Paul wrote to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians 3, and be in your glorious light. Mm -hmm. And be conformed ever, ever more into your image and your likeness, your nature. And reveal you, Jesus, as those rays of light into our communities where you've established us. We want to give you all the praise, all the glory tonight and today. We want to say, have your way in our hearts. May you conform our hearts to your heart that we truly can fulfill your command to your disciples, that we truly learn to love one another in the way that you've loved us. We ask for this revelation of your love and your wisdom and your truth to be ever deeper and ever more outworked. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. And you are the eternal king, everlasting. We will never have to bury you. You are from the beginning and you will be at the end still. You are the king. We worship you. Our Lord, our Savior, thank you. Thank you. Our Father, I want to thank you that we are rooted and grounded in Christ, that we thank you for your faithfulness, that you keep us, that you carry us through, that we are in you, in the, in the fullness of the Lord, Lord, Father. Thank you um, for you are our security, Father. Thank you for showing us, Father, everything what you are doing for the guiding us through lord walking with us and in us and to us lord father thank you for your love it's just like like an explosion in us thank you for praising yourself through us father thank you for more more revelation more of you thank you for revealing the lord and Lord, for revealing the Father to us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, being always with you, with us. Thank you that we are one in you, Lord Jesus. And thank you for this expectation we can have for every day because you are victory and you are exceedingly abundantly above everything we can imagine pray for or ask for we thank you and we praise your holy name in jesus name amen. amen father your word says that the secret things belong to the lord our god but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law in deuteronomy 29 29 and then in Daniel, um, we pray, blessed, um, chapter 2, verses 20, blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are yours, Lord, and you change the times and you change the seasons, and you remove kings, you remove queens, and you raise up kings, you give wisdom to the wise, 
and knowledge to those who have understanding. You reveal deep and secret things and you know what is in the darkness and light dwells with him. I thank you and I praise you, O God of my fathers, that you have given us wisdom and might and that you have made known to us what we have asked of you. For you have made known to us the king's demand. Father, I thank you for your word in these um, times of uns great uncertainty and in these times of change. I thank you that you're ever constant and you're ever with us and you are ever faithful. We love you, Lord, and we praise you. In Yeshua's name, amen. We are personally in love with you, Lord, because mm -hmm. you listen to us and you hear our prayers and answer them. And we will stay faithful to you, God, and speak words of faith. How can we give back to you and repay you for all the blessings you've poured out on us? We will lift up his cup of salvation and praise him extravagantly for all that he's done for us. We will fulfill our promises we have made to God in the presence of his gathered people. And we worship you passionately and bring to you our sacrifice of praise drenched with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Drenched with thanksgiving. Amen. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your grace, Lord. Mm. We thank you that you do not treat us how we need to be treated for, for our sins, but you wipe them away with your precious blood. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus, for what you have done for us on the cross. And we thank you for your amazing grace. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it, for he founded on the seas and established on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord, who may stand in his holy place, the one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by false gods, they will receive the blessing from the Lord and vindication from their God, their Saviour. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who's this king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the king of the glory may come in who is this king of glory the king of glory is the lord almighty he is the king of glory and we proclaim you today as the king of glory you are the king of kings and the lord of lords and we just lift our eyes to look to you and we gaze upon your beauty we gaze upon your glory and we declare you are the king of the nations you are the lord god almighty we love you and we honour you and we lift you up and put you in your rightful place today. So nothing pleases our Father more, I think, than when we seek him. And Jeremiah tells us, you'll seek me and you will find me when you search for me with all your heart. And Jesus, of course, said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And today we are seekers, really. We are seeking God for his, himself, <laughs> himself to enter into uh, the situation in North Korea. That's what our focus is today. And um, just before we begin to pray, um, New Zealanders were involved in the war from 1950 to 57. We had 45 New Zealanders lost with two prisoners of war. But Australia's sacrifice was much greater. They had 17,000 
involved in the Korean War. There were 340 killed and 29 were taken as prisoners of war. And um, as we ponder on, on those uh, statistics, we think, we have to think that that must have um, had a huge effect on many people's lives. So Korea would have been a focus, a byword um, in the focus of many people. And so today we are going to release forgiveness from both our nations, from the Australia New Zealand Army Corps, the watch, and we are going to um, ask God's forgiveness for our nations for any time that we have made them a byword because of the war. And so we'll just pray, pray now. I think we'll stay together today. Um, we'll pray now in repentance and ask God's forgiveness. Um, I know it's never his plan for war, never his plan for Jesus would have picked up weapons, but it happens. So um, we just come now in repentance in the name of Jesus, we come to you, Father, and we say, we are so, so sorry. We are so very sorry. That this tragedy came upon the nations, Korea, New Zealand, Australia. And we release Korea now. We cut every tie of violence, war, aggression that has come onto our nation in Jesus' name. And we thank you for the blood of Jesus that heals, that seals, that covers every failing of human effort and idea that we thought was better. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you for your grace, for your mercy, for your love, for your forgiveness, for your goodness. And we pray your blessing upon the nation of Korea, North and South. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you'd like to pray, just um, put your put your hand up, and um, yeah, Margaret will. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I'll pray. Thank you, Brian. No, oh, Father. I thank you for your amazing love that you have sent Jesus before us. He's gone before us and opened the way for reconciliations, for healing, for forgiveness, for wrongs done. We honor you, Lord Jesus. And the sacrifice that you've paid for, for us and for Korea, for all Koreans, mm. North and South. Indeed, Lord, for our humanity. We ask your Holy Spirit to come with us now and come before us to open the ways, Lord, for reconciliation so that not only not only the blood price of those that have been lost father but lord that there shall be seeds that have been sown father 
lives given in order that lives be saved. Almighty God, move, oh God, I pray amongst us and on our behalf, I do pray for Korean and Korea and Koreans. In Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name, I pray. Amen. Yes, Jenny, go on. Thank you. As we're praying for the team representing those nations that fought in the the Global Watch team, representing those nations that fought in the Korean War. How blessed we are that representatives are there uh, from, from New Zealand and from Australia. And mm. um, as, they, as they go in, um, carrying this mantle of forgiveness upon themselves as they've been preparing in prayer and all the words that the Lord has been giving, I just feel to decree... <clears throat> some of Isaiah 11 because this is this is what we're praying for father we yearn for the day when there is no war when there was no animosity between nations when evil will not have its way father this is what we're praying for as you decree in, in your word in Isaiah 11 a shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse from his yeah. roots a branch will bear fruit the spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears, but with righteousness, he will judge the needy. With justice, he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, with the breath of his lips, he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be his belt and faithfulness the sash around his waist. And this is the part I absolutely find. I always mm. find this amazing. The wolf will live with the lamb. Amen. The leopard will lie down with the goats. The mm. calf and the lion and the yearling together. And a little child will lead them. The cow will feed with the bear. Their young will lie down together and the lion will eat straw like the ox. The infant will play near the hole of the cobra. And the young child put his hand into the viper's nest. They will neither harm nor destroy on all of my holy mountain. For the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Father, we thank you so much for this amazing, amazing crop. Um, just this amazing promise, Lord, that you have given us uh, from your word, Lord. And we long to see that day when uh, such a contrast, uh, using the symbols of, of those animals together, Father, uh, is just too wondrous. And so, Father, it shows us how evil we have gone, how much we have strayed from the beauty of your holiness and, and, and all that that represents and how all around the world, Father, we have grieved you so much. We have sinned. We have fallen away. Uh, and so that uh, the lamb cannot be with the lion. These things cannot uh, be in our day. But we thank you, Father, for that promise. And we're praying, Lord God, that as this team uh, pray forgiveness um, towards North Korea, that uh, at, at, at your mercy seat, at your mercy seat, Father. This is the hour at your mercy seat. We pray, Father God, that you will mercifully move upon North Korea and on South Korea, that we will see unity. We will see forgiveness between those two nations. And then, Father, we're praying for the false alliances of North Korea um, forming those nuclear alliances with uh, China, Lord, and, and with Iran, and Lord, and all the, the increased momentum of nuclear armaments that we are seeing in our day. Lord, we are asking for it all to be brought down, Father, and for your glory and your peace mm -hmm. to be over all the earth. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Yes.
Yes, amen. Amen. So we're praying for the restoration of all things, particularly in North and South Korea and in our two nations. And Jesus said, indeed, Elijah is coming first mm-hmm. and will restore all things. And so today, Lord, we um, think about your severity and we think about your kindness as well. The two go hand in hand, as your word tells us. And Lord, we just say, have your way. Have your way. You will do what you will do, what you need to do to bring the restoration of all things on the earth. So we can pray for the team now and um, continue to pray for the team, I think. Um, Psalm 5. So let those who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them sing joyful praises forever. Spread your protection over them that they, in the land, the team, Pastor Peter Lee's team and all his intercessors, that they love your name, that they will be filled with your joy, that the joy of the Lord will be their strength. So we ask for your blessing upon them, Lord. We ask that you would surround them with your shield of love. Thank you, Lord. We have Yuta with her hands up, John. Is okay? Yeah. Yes. Um, feeding to that, I want to um, declare and pray Ephesians 2 14 to 22 um, for the team, but also for North and South Korea and also Korea and the nations um, for, um, for his peace um, um, has made uh, both one. And also as a German, with this, um, I want to pray for that. Um, For he is our peace, who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so Mm -hmm. making peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens, with the saints and of the household of God and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone in whom all the building filthy framed together grows unto a holy temple in the Lord in whom you also are built together for an habitation of God through the spirit Mm. Father, and I give you all glory for that your work, Father, what you are doing, especially in, in the nations in Korea, but also in New Zealand, Australia, and all our nations in Israel, Lord. It's your handiwork, Father. Thank you that we are part of that, Father, that we can partner with you, that we are your sons and daughters, and that we are one. In your spirit, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I just see Christine Ludwig is on the call. Um, Christine is part of the team that's going to Korea. Are you there, Christine? She might be traveling. Yes, yeah. You're just on the on the way. I just I I forgot the flag from. You're cutting out, Christine. I think you're telling us that you've got the flag. Jen, can you hear me? 
Yes, I can hear you. you oh, yes. can leave leave yes. your camera off might be better. Yeah, maybe it's better. You know. Yes, Lord. I want to thank you for the nations of New Zealand and Austria. I thank you that, yeah, that I can go there to this place and uh, yeah, I want to be a, like a representative for them, for New Zealand. Thank you that you brought me to this nation and that I could receive the fruits and the benefits from this nation. And I thank you that they came to Korea to fight for righteousness and justice and yeah, for your values, for you. And um, yeah, I thank you that they now come with forgiveness and I want to carry this uh, mantle of forgiveness uh, for them there. And I ask you to give me prayers and words of forgiveness and words of, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. to bless the nation of Korea and to speak out healing and restoration and um, future. Yeah, God, I thank you that um, New Zealand has this call to restore uh, things and also Australia that they, yeah, the calling for this nation to, to go to other places and bring healing and yeah, I ask you to, to open these gates to lift up and receive the King of Glory for healing and restoration. Yeah. Yeah, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. We bless you, Christine. And we thank, thank you, Lord, that in the going is the provision and the promise. Thank you, Lord. Just mindful. Oh, yeah, we've got a hand up. Just thinking about other nations who might like to pray. Lord, uh, we thank you, Lord, for the team. And Lord, we pray that you would go before them and clear the way. We pray, Lord, that their feet will be like hind's feet, that they will go safely to the high places, Lord, because you, Lord, are their shield and backward. And Lord, we declare that you are the hope that holds them. You're the stronghold to shelter them. And Lord, you will rescue them from every trap that has been set. We thank you, Lord, that you are the repairer of the breach mm -hmm. and that your arms are wrapped around each one of them, Lord, giving them your covering. Lord, we do thank you. We pray, pray, Lord. You're muted, Heather. No, I'm not. I can hear you. Did you hear any of it? Yes. Um, you just I, muted. I, I, at the end. You muted yourself at the end. Oh, I see. Well, I was just praying that God's plans would come through. Amen. Thank you, Heather. And I pray um, also, I'd like to pray for the team. And I'm thinking of the armor of God. And the, and the Lord chews their feet with the gospel of peace. I pray in Jesus' name that every, every place where the team places their feet, Father, that there shall be um, a reclaiming, Lord, Amen. of land of lives now and of peace in Jesus' name. Almighty God, we release the power, Lord, of your, oh, Lord, your amazing love. Oh, Father, we hold up, Lord, with them the banner of love. Oh, Father, that as they move and, oh, Father, as a team, as they move forward together, whatever their circumstances, Father, oh, Father, Mighty God, let there be an extraordinary demonstration of your love, your grace, your saving power. 
Almighty God, your reconciliation, Father, and your defeat of every aspect of the enemy's endeavors, to, Almighty God, to inhibit the freedom and the love that you have for all people. We think of Korea, North and South, but Lord, also all people in all nations, Father, Almighty God, where there is conflict now in Jesus' name, we call upon you, Lord, for peace. Peace, our God, in Jesus' name, the peace of God that passes all understanding, Lord, to be, to be made alive amongst your people in Jesus' name. Amen, Lord. Jennifer, thank you. Thank you, Brian. Jennifer, you go next. Yes. I'm reading from Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14. For this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he would grant you, Lord, we declare your word over the team in Korea. For this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that would grant you according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height, to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God, now to him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus in all nations, generations, forever and ever. Amen. And above other, we declare this over the team in Korea. And Amen. May you may you surround them. May you surround them with the glory of your presence. And may you fill them, may you fill them with your length and breadth and depth and height of your love. Yeah. They, 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 they would be able to, to say, even as Jesus said on the cross, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Yeah. Thank but you. Father, we thank you that you are able to do exceeding abundantly more than we ask or think or hope for, more than the team expects, God. You are able to do exceeding abundantly. But Father, we thank you for this call that is given to the team, not just in Global Watch, but the rest of the teams. It is your call. And this is your moment for Korea, your moment to deliver Korea from the traps of the enemy, the moment for your salvation of Korea. And we just thank you that we can participate in this small way, your mighty plan, the fulfillment of your plan and your purposes for both North Korea and South Korea that you fulfill your plan, that you thwart the, the plans of the enemy and you fulfill all your purpose. In Yeshua's name, amen. 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 Philippa, thank you. Thank you, Margaret. I'd like to declare the first four verses over the teams that are in Korea. They who dwell in the secret place of El Elyon shall abide under the shadow of El Shaddai. I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. Father, we thank you today 
that your protection is over all of the teams who are gathered there in South Korea for this prayer assignment. And we thank you today, Father, for the power of forgiveness mm -hmm. that as this declaration to forgive goes forth, Lord, we believe that your love will be raised up once again in North Korea. Lord, we, the material that we were able to read before the teams went showed how strong the church was in Korea in the early part of the 20th century, Lord. They had thousands of churches, and that is what your desire is to see again, your body raised up in that nation to be able to dwell in freedom and worship you, worship you joyfully, Lord, in the public arena, in spirit and in truth. We ask, Lord, today that that freedom will come forth in the days after this assignment has been completed, Father. We pray that that, that great imperial spirit will be cast down and crushed underneath their feet, and that it will rise no more in North Korea, but there will be a great reconciliation and healing in the land, Lord. We ask it in your precious name, Yeshua. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. No, I'm just sensing in John, I think it's three, the wind of the spirit blowing into Korea. And as that typhoon was coming, Lord, first in the natural, then in the spirit, we thank you that our beloved brethren are carrying you and your Holy Spirit. And there would be such a release, such a mighty breakthrough and a pulling down of strongholds for this division. It would come down this wall. That, mm. Lord, there's no wall that's beyond your capacity to break through that, Lord, all of the religious walls and the walls of the Queen of Heaven and every other demonic power that would want to be presiding, ruling over this, your land, we declare, is North Korea. It is your holy land. It's a place where you dug your wells of salvation. And we call forth the redigging of those wells, Lord. We call forth this move of the wind of your mighty power and there will be hundreds thousands millions born again of the spirit of god alive to your spirit entering into your kingdom just as you spoke to nicodemus and we thank you for this end time revival that's been prophesied and uh, as jenny said the four winds this fourth wind that is about to blow over korea and break through the religious strongholds, the legalism, and all of the demonic altars, Father. We thank you for them being turned over, uprooted, torn down, demolished, as to what happens when there is a mighty tornado. And we want to give you all the praise, all the glory, and call forth for your restoration, your planting, your building, your establishing, your new wine church, your bridal ecclesia arising and that all these revelations you've given to so many Koreans for years to see a mighty army go out from Korea even back into China and through into Asia and to carry the gospel of the kingdom father we call this forth in Jesus name and we also call forth your angelic forces as has been so beautifully prayed Lord of divine protection to keep our dear brothers and sisters completely hidden under the radar. Um, we close the eyes of the watchers right now. We stop their ears, we gag their mouths, we turn their faces away, and we declare there should be no retaliation, payback or revenge, no accident, infirmity or calamity against any one of them or their families, loved ones, ministry or in any way. We thank you for the unity of this group, that there will be no divisions and that your love and power would flow through them to all they meet. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. 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 Thank you. We've just got a couple of minutes, I think, if we're going to have our final song. So um, before the top of the hour. So thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Just following on, actually, from what Hillary just prayed. 
Um, okay. I just wanted to say Psalm 133, which fits in, um, not only for the team, but also for North and South Korea, mm. um, for unity in the team and for unity between the nations. So a Psalm of David, behold how good and pleasant it is for brothers yeah. to dwell together in unity. It is yes. like the precious oil upon the head, coming down upon the beard, Aaron's beard, coming down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, coming down upon the mountains of Zion. For there Adonai commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Mm -hmm. Father, we pray for unity among the team yes. as they are there ministering, for unity among all of us that are back at, at, at our homes praying. And Lord, we pray for that unity between North and South Korea because after all they are brothers and sisters, Lord. And may they just come back into that um, identity as a, as a whole nation, a united nation. We thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do. In the name of Jesus, we shall wish you up. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lynn, for that unity to be protected, yeah, at all costs. Thank you so much for your prayers. Um, did you have any notices, um, Margaret? Uh, no, no. Um, no. But, um, uh, Susan did put up a link yes. for tomorrow's, if whoever would like to um, do that, to watch what they're doing. Yeah. That's tomorrow, isn't it? You yeah. can uh, watch the link on YouTube to the mm -hmm. team in South Korea. If you if you wanted, are you going to put that link up, Margaret? Um, it's on the, it's on the signal chat, isn't it? it is. Yes, yes, they have. It. Yes. So it's on the GW International thread. Okay, so we're just going to end this now with our blessing from Aotearoa, New Zealand, and just bless you all and thank you for your prayers. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God our Father and the sweet, sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, be with Korea, be with Aotearoa New Zealand, uh, be with Australia and be with every nation that's represented on our call today. Amen. Thank you Amen. all. Amen. 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 So let us all... Unmute and it's been an amazing hour. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hello. Thank you. Bye. God bless.